Have you ever seen a really great table or a designer piece that was a bit over your budget and you thought, you know, I could make that piece if only I had the right parts? This is our 16 by 48 wood top. It's a birch veneer on the front and back, and it's got an MDF core, which stands for maximum density fiber. And it's actually stronger than normal piece of solid wood, especially for this size. The 16 by 48 is really long, so you want something that's really strong that can support a lot of weight. This, we're going to take this tabletop and turn it into an antique, uh, very elegant looking console table. It's a four step process. It's a lot of fun, too. So we'll go ahead and start the first step. All right. Now, of course, as we did before, we need to pre sand just to give it a smooth finish. Now, once you're done sanding, you're just going to wipe off the shavings again so you don't get them incorporated into your paint. Our first layer, or first color, will be kind of like an olive green. What's nice about using these throwaway brushes is you don't have to clean up. And also, on this antiquing process, it almost doesn't matter if, if you're real perfect. Because the more uneven it is, the actually the, the more distressed it will look. So we're going to go ahead and just quickly coat this. We just want to make sure you get adequate coverage. Now after the green paint dries, what you're going to do is you're going to put a coat of off-white paint right over the green paint. The reason why we do that is because we're going to sand this afterwards and try and get some of the green paint to show through. Most older pieces have been painted several times and it gives the piece a real uh, feel of originality. Now the legs that we used for this project are the traditional and we're going to use four legs in, uh, for this project. We put one coat of bronze on these legs. Now there's several finishes that you could choose to put on your project. You could patina these legs, you could crackle finish them, you could simply spray paint them, or you can simply put a uh, clear coated varnish on them as well. I'm just going to put the last coat of bronze on these legs. And you want to just always follow the manufacturer's directions. Now while these finish drying, we're going to go back to the top. Okay, we've applied our layer of off-white paint. It's dried. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and sand, rough sand the edges and the surface. As we sand, the first layer kind of comes off a little as it lifts. The green shows through. Okay, now we're ready for the next step. So we're going to apply the stencil. And when you're stenciling, it's important to go ahead and tape down your edges. So do do your proper placement there and then tape it down. This is kind of crucial because if your stencil moves while you're painting, you'll get a smudge mark. What we've done for color for this stencil is we've taken the first layer and the second layer, mixed it together, and got this nice soft green. Sounds so what like we'll an do, green, huh? yeah, it's a great Sage. color, isn't it? Yep. We dip the brush in the paint and then we, we simply smudge a lot of the paint off so that we don't get excess drips when we do the stencil. And then we're ready to go ahead and apply. And to apply, you just simply go ahead and dot. We've actually taken the liberty to pre-stencil this for you. OK. Ready? Yeah. This is what the project looks like after it's stenciled. Gosh, this looks really gorgeous, Liz. It's really beautiful. Yeah. You know, you can even leave it the way it is and just clear coat it. To preserve the finish, you can. We're going to take one other step, though. Okay. And antique it a little bit more. My glove? Thanks. We're going to apply the wax. See, you can lightly see that, that green coming through. Yeah. We're it using a really wax worn. that has a stain. It's a light stain in it. Okay, and it, it goes on quickly and lightly. It kind of makes it look like somebody has actually waxed this for a really long time, you know, for many, many years when you adds, start putting this on there. It adds years to the piece. Yeah, it really does. And it's so easy. Yeah. What I love about this wax is it just kind of adds a light, light sheen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, Lid, that about does it. Yeah, that looks great. We're ready. Top is done. Let's flip it over. All right. How fast do you think you get those legs on? I don't know. How fast do you think we can put those well, legs on? I don't know. Let's okay, give it a shot.
of the table turned out. It really, and you know what? I think we beat our record time of putting those legs on today. I think you're right. We yeah. did. We did. Yeah. We've got these projects and many more at our website at www.maidensofiron.com.